Can someone, anyone, tell me how to pick a reasonably sized TBR? What up my channel? Welcome back to another video. I'm Jesse, and you're watching. What up my channel? Welcome to another video with Jesse the Clown. Why are we Jesse the Clown, you ask? I'll tell you why, because this month, in the month of August, we were like, yo, we're gonna have a cool chat, chazu, ch we're gonna have a cool casual TBR, something just very laid back so that we will have plenty of time to focus on our book. And yet, and yet, that's not what we have here. We have in store for you a massive TBR, a TBR that is a feat of the gods. And we do this to ourselves. Why do we do this to ourselves? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. It's because of our creative brain. There's all these videos we want to make, which means we have to read the books to make those videos. There are community events that we want to participate in. There's just so much going on in the month of August. And I decided that I was going to be a part of all of it. And before we get into all of the books that we will be reading for the month of August, I want to give a big, big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is none other than Book of the Month. Book of the Month is a wildly growing and incredibly popular e-commerce subscription where every single month they send you a book of your choosing in a bright blue box. This is the bright blue box. What is dope about Book of the Month is that every single month they scour upcoming and new releases. They go through all of these releases in order to find the hottest, most exciting and enticing books on the market. They present five of those books. They throw them up on the website. You are able to pick one of them and then that book gets mailed to you. Simple, easy, straight to the point. Book of the Month makes it so that you don't have to spend hours and hours and hours doing the research on anticipated releases and reads. They always have a unique collection of genres to choose from. So if you're in a thriller mood one month, there's likely going to be a thriller for you. Or if you are in a contemporary, more romance style, there's going to be a book for you too. One of the many things that I love about this membership is that you are able to skip a month at any point in time, no questions asked. You can pause your subscription and just get back to it when you are ready to. Like if you are busy that month, you just don't have the time and energy to devote to a read. No problem. You can just pause your subscription and that is that. Some of my favorite books have come from this service and a lot of books that I never even heard of have come from this service as well, which is pretty impressive considering the fact that since I'm a booktuber I spend a lot of time researching new books and being in the know about what's coming out. So why don't we get into what the five books that Book of the Month is offering for this month in August. This is a book that I learned about only recently and that is The Heart Principle by Helen Huang. This cover is The Heart Principle, okay, because my heart is pounding. What a beautiful cover. I have heard that this is semi-autobiographical and I am so excited. This is a hilarious contemporary about a woman who is burnt out from a viral YouTube career who decides to go on a string of one night stands and I'm super excited about her journey. Then we have Damnation Spring. This is a book that Book of the Month put on my radar. This is about a family that lives in the woods and for generations they have been chopping down redwoods, which are my favorite trees. And this family has been plagued by a string of abortions and it is about what's going on with this family. One of my favorite books of the year, The Inheritance of Orchidea Divina. This book is an amazing title about the Montoyas family, a very messy and complicated family who are connected by their abuelita, who is a very powerful witch. And this family begins to be hunted by a spiritual celestial force that is slowly killing them off. I am so excited that Book of the Month sent me my very first Sherry Le Pena. I cannot wait to get introduced to this author. I've heard so many great things about her work. A very wealthy family, the Mertens, the parents, the patriarchs of this family are brutally murdered one Easter night after a dinner with their kids who now stand to inherit millions. 
but are these kids exactly what they seem? Finally, we have Once There Were Wolves, another book that Book of the Month put on my radar. This is set in rural Scotland. It follows a woman who keeps wolves, but when a farmer is found murdered, she knows that her wolves will be blamed, and so she sets out to find out what happened to this farmer. One of my favorite things about Book of the Month is that they offer these hardcover titles, often early releases, always new releases, at a price you just can't get anywhere else. And if you use my code BOWTIES, you can get your very first box for only $9.99. Thanks again to Book of the Month for sponsoring another of my videos. I really appreciate it. Now let us get into what Jessie is reading for the month of August. I hate myself. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just going to keep saying it. We don't know why we do this to ourselves. So <laughs> we're just going to go fast because there's a lot of books on this TBR and why do we do this? Why are we like this? Why are we like this? If we could shake ourselves, we would. So first of all, let's talk about the books that are carrying over from the month of July into August. Kayla's Books and Lala's Buzzword, We Have to Finish, The Last True Poets of the Sea. And then for the TBR cards, the books that the TBR cards picked for me that I have not finished yet, there is The Sweetness of Water by Nathan Harris as well as The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey. Then we have some Black Girl Magic books that are carrying on. They are Before She Ignites and The Gilded Ones. That vlog actually just went up today, the day that I am filming this. So I will leave that vlog in the description down below. Um, in case you haven't figured it out yet, I have already read those carry-on books. I focused on reading those books during this first week of August. I'm filming this on August 6th. So the first entire week of this month was focused and devoted to me catching up on the books that were on my July TBR. And thankfully we are all caught up, but that does mean I only have three weeks left to get in all of the books that I'm about to get to. But let's talk about the books that are on my secret TBR for the month of August. These books are the Addy LaRude. Yes, I know that's not how it's said, but it is an inside joke between myself and Jan. Then I have Jade War, the sequel to Jade City, and We Hunt the Flame. Now, these books I'm not going to go into synopses for because they are for a secret video, but all of these books are fantasies. Jade War and Addy LaRue are adult fantasies, and We Hunt the Flame is the start in a YA fantasy series there it is a trilogy and I have started this book before loved it but it was due back at the library so we are really geeked to get back into this now let's get into the buddy reads the books that I will be buddy reading in the month of August the monthly buddy read between myself and Jan is going to be vicious this is a exciting dark academia novel about two dueling musicians why did I say musicians <laughs> magicians, two dueling academics, they start off as friends and they go down this dark path to develop superpowers. And this book is about what happens when they do develop those powers and they have a falling out. Very, very excited for this book. And then Starla and I are so freaking geeked to be buddy reading Son of the Storm, which is so high on our anticipated reads list. This is the start of a adult fantasy series and we are following Danso, who is a clever scholar. He's always been too curious for his own good. And when Danso stumbles across a warrior wielding magic that is not supposed to exist, his life Life becomes infinitely more complicated than he ever could have imagined. <sighs> then we have two books that we are going to be reading for a series and I cannot believe I'm about to say this. I cannot believe I'm about to name these two books on my channel. <sighs> Y'all are gonna shit bricks when you hear me drop these titles. I just know it. Like those of you who've been watching my channel from day one, I know y'all are about to flip out. If you can guess what the two books are, like think of the two books that I would never ever read. Those are the two books that I'm about to be reading in this month in August and I physically can't even say it. You know that scene in Game of Thrones when um, Ned Stark is trying to lie and say that Joffrey is the rightful king and he's like, he can barely get the words out. You know, you can see him physically trying to vomit the words back into his mouth. Uh, his mouth is refusing to obey him, that sort of thing. Uh, that's how I feel right now about the titles that I'm about to say. Ugh. I'm gonna be reading. Ugh. Can't say it. I'm gonna be re in the month of August. I'm going to be reading. I'm gonna be reading Blood and Honey 
and Gods and Monsters by Shelby Mahurin. So those of you who've been following my channel for a while know that my first ever Waste My Time video, the series that I have on my channel, my, the most popular videos that I make, the most popular series I have on this channel is where I talk about books that wasted my time. The first, the book that started it all, the first Waste My Time video ever made <sighs> was Serpent and Dove. I hate that book. I, I hate that book. I hate that book. That video is going to be linked in the description box down below. And what we have decided to do, because we've got, we've gotten so many requests to continue on with the series and see what we think. And I've been like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. It's happening. It's happening. So I'm going to be vlogging the experience of, of reading the next two books in the series. And the vlog is probably going to be called something like, will these books waste my time? If I don't like the books, I will definitely be making a waste my time video for those books. Now I'm fully prepared <laughs> to enjoy these books if they're good, if they're any better, even marginally better than the first one. I, I will happily admit, I will happily tip my hat to Shelby Mohurin. Um, I highly, I don't see that happening. If the Ebony Witch makes a comeback, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose it. Yeah, we'll see. Moving on. Then on August 21st, I believe the third Saturday in August, Jan of Jan Agathon and I are going to be co-hosting Sapphicathon. Special announcement, Sapphicathon is now a monthly 24-hour readathon that Jan and I will be co-hosting with a revolving host. The revolving host for this month, the month of August, is none other than Megan of Books and Blazers, who is an Instagrammer who focuses exclusively on queer books. I adore her. She's just, she's one of my favorite people in, in the universe and in the book Turverse. And so we're really excited to be doing the Sapphicathon vlog with her. Now I'm not going to go into my like the details of my TBR in this video simply because of course you're going to see me go over my TBR again in the Sapphicathon vlog. But I will tell you that one of the books that I will be reading is going to be Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke, which is a sapphic horror novel it is supposed to give follow me to ground vibes y'all know that was like my favorite book ever last year so very very excited about this we're going to be reading a bunch of great stuff for the sapphicathon vlog so definitely stay tuned for that tbr and that vlog the non-binary book club pick of the month of august is going to be the witch king this is a ya debut fantasy by h.e eggman it tells the story of a trans witch who must save a fake kingdom had to film this clip because we accidentally said the entire wrong book and went on a long spiel about it. Definitely follow the Instagram so that you can stay tuned on the live show and all of the fun stuff that we have happening. And the live show, of course, will be here on this channel, possibly with a co-host, special guest. <sighs> So many books, so little time. Why do I do this to myself? The last announcement that I have for this TBR video is that we're going to be doing something special on this channel every single month from now until the end of time. What I'm going to be doing every single month on this channel is picking out a card and then those who want to participate, you can pick your own book for that card and just read that book in the month and include it in your wrap ups or in your bullet journals or whatever. It's just like a fun way to choose a book from your TBR, keep it spicy and exciting. I actually came up with this idea because there is no way I was going to be doing TBR cards where I roll the dice and then pick out the number of cards that the dice tells me and then read a book for each and every one of those cards. There was simply no way I was going to do that given this massive TBR. So I came up with the idea of just pulling one card at random. And then I was like, wait, what if I did that every single month where every month I pull a card at random and we all pick a book that corresponds to that prompt. I hope this makes sense. Um, it's kind of similar to how Kayla every month picks a buzzword and then the community reads surrounding that buzzword. So I just dumped the cards out of the deck and we're just gonna we're just gonna shuffle wildly. I want to make it very perfectly clear though that I'm going to do my absolute best to fit whatever card I pull into this damn TBR because the last thing that we want to do is pick another book to add to this TBR. I think we have like 10 books on it. We just can't do it. We hate it here. And we put ourselves here. So, all right. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Okay. <laughs> not, not me pulling the freaking wild card. <laughs> that says to 
choose your own prompt. I hate it here. Why can't anything just be easy? Okay, we're just gonna... <laughs> this is the one time that I pull the wild card prompt. This is some BS. This is some BS. Okay, we're just gonna go... Well, okay, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Oh, I, that's in the same spot as before. I feel like Gambit. Okay, so we're gonna go with this. Okay, well, we can't do that because um, this this one wants you to go to the library and we're in the middle of a pandemic, so that's not happening. You know what? We're just gonna reshuffle because this isn't working out for us. This is not going well. Okay, so, oh my gosh, not you. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna fan you out. We're just gonna pick one at random. Okay. All right, this is the Battle Ball Gown. Read a book where fashion is crucial to the story. Okay, kill me. I hate my life. I hate my life. Um, absolutely none of these books that I have on my TBR have fashion crucial to the story. I literally hate it here. Wish I had never made these cards. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. I hate you. All right. Um, I don't want to do this. Okay. I don't want to do this. I'm just going to walk around in circles because I don't want to do this. One. I literally would rather pull all of my toenails out of my body than add another book to this TBR. Ugh. Okay. So... We are going to read. Ugh, why is this happening to me? Wait, what's this? No, nope, can't read that. Give me something for the pain and let me die. Okay. Oh, I'm so angry. Why do I have no books that fit this prompt? Aha! I think we might have found the book. So this is A Touch of Jen, which is a book that we recently hauled. And it follows a couple who become very obsessed with this beauty influencer, I believe, who is described as a globe-trotting jewelry designer. So not quite fashion, but jewelry needs to be matched to an outfit. And just let let us have this, okay? It's the best, it's the best that you gonna get. Ooh. Or just I also remember that I have Made in China, which is a memoir about a girl who calls the uh, the child social services on her parents for trying to make her work in her family's garment factory. It hits more closely to the prompt. Actually, this is gonna be a lot shorter and I haven't read a memoir. I don't have any nonfiction on this TBR. So I think officially this is going to be my pick, but you know, maybe the mood will strike and maybe I'll get to this one. Who knows? So these are the two books that are going that I'm picking. All right, y'all, that is gonna do it for this video. If you are participating in this month's TBR card pick, comment down below and let me know what book that you have decided to pick for this prompt. Also, it would be helpful to other people in the comment section who are trying to figure out what book they wanna pick for this prompt. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you made it all the way to the end, why don't you leave some sort of clothing garment? It can be a emoji, it can be a dress, a pair of pants, shoes, whatever, just to signify the uh, TBR card pick of the month, which is a book where fashion is crucial to the story. That's it. Thanks again to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. Stay safe, wear your mask, and I can't wait to see you in my next video.